All right, boys and girls, this is a Yamaha 242, I believe. Um, we're about to start working on. It's registered in New York. The customer is in New York. Um, yeah, 242X Yamaha. Looks to be a newer one. Uh, if this was my boat, we definitely would be doing a one-step polish, but the customer doesn't want it. You can see all the issues in the gel coat that polishing would straighten out, but also got some a little bit of a lifting issue. I don't know what that is, but you can see that. Uh, it's still dirty. We haven't done anything. All I did was take the cover off. And like I said, you can see all those sh shady, uh, not clear areas. Those are really bad scuffs. Need to be polished out. I may ask the owner if we could do like a light polishing step on just the hull. We'll see. Uh, we will be doing the complete interior, which means just wiping down everything and protecting everything with my Ceram Acrylics Marine Pro Hybrid Coating. You can see how dirty it is in general. All that's going to be straight. This side doesn't look so bad. It could definitely use a one-step polish though for sure. It's got some hazy spots all over it. It's just generally dirty though. It's got some streaks and stuff it needs to come off. So, all right, I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and see what I can do um, without having to polish, but I don't know. So, ugh. all right, you got general dirt and all the cracks and crevices. Nice, huge, open layout, I love it. Um, just gotta get not gonna do much in there since it's already packed looks very nice and together we'll wipe the door and everything out gotta get some issues off the seats and stuff no problem with that it's just generally dirty you can see that jam there so we'll get all those cleaned out, vacuumed out, and that kind of thing. Batteries. All looks good. We'll vacuum around all that stuff and just wipe the jams. But, yeah, pretty good. Not horrible. It's definitely a nice boat. but could absolutely use a polish but we'll uh we'll see what i can do with the outside all right that's it not bad at all but definitely needs a good clean and the exterior of the hull definitely needs a good polish all right we're gonna get rolling and we'll be back to give you some updates as we progress all right guys, so this uh, Yamaha 242X is all complete. So I took care of the uh, exterior hull while my wife Tony took care of the interior. She did a great job in here, it's all cleaned up. Captain's chair is all good to go. Cockpit's all straight, streak free, looking good. We coated all the glass inside and out, all the gel coat inside and out. No polishing was done to this boat. I asked the owner if he wanted to have it polished. The interior's not bad, but the uh, exterior definitely could have used a one-step polish. But it is what it is. It's still a very nice boat. Uh, we got all of the Hatches vacuumed out and uh, the back area all cleaned up. We wiped down the entire wakeboard tower. Wiping out all of the uh, little cubby holes. Um, I don't know what was done to this boat, but I can tell you that there's overspray all over it.
and then all over the vinyl there I'm not sure what they did they got some cracks in the gel coat there but it's got overspray all over it so a bunch of overspray everywhere So, all right, well, I'm going to get out and show you what the exterior looks at, looks like now. So, here we go. All right, I had to take care of a couple of extra things before I jumped out of this boat. I wanted, there was some issues on the, on the uh, driver's seat, the captain's chair there, and uh, had a bunch of rust inside here what it is is rail dust or brake dust or something off the trailer or off the truck or off of whatever and those metal shards stick into the gel coat then they rust and they look horrible i got a lot of them out of this area and on both sides there and there they were everywhere and they were really bad in there and as you can see they're pretty much gone now um, to do it right I would need to acid wash and then polish but again there's no polishing involved in this job so it's hard to use the acid because it's going to leave the gel coat not looking spectacular but there's no polishing so I can't really polish over it so unfortunately I did the best that I could but it's not 100% but it is what it is um, all that's all straightened out taken care of everything down here is all cleaned out all the cup holders look good. They're all empty of debris. Got a nice little subwoofer down there. Um, yeah, so everything in here is good. All the cracks and crevices are good. I got one little spot I gotta wipe out real quick. And then uh, we're heading to the outside. So here we go. All right, we're finally on the outside of the boat. Just gonna give you a rundown of what's happening. So the whole interior was clean. The vinyl was cleaned and protected. All the cracks and crevices were all cleaned out all the jams are clean everything's wiped down all the gel coat on the interior is all coated with my ceram acrylics pro hybrid coating um, the piano black areas there and in the cockpit are all clean we wiped the whole t-top and wake uh, board tower down this whole rear section was all cleaned and cleaned out these open up just like this. Notice everything's all clean and wipe, wiped out in there. All these jams are nice and clean. Cup holders are clean. This one here is a nice storage. It's all clean in there. Uh, mats are clean. We scrubbed down these mats here and those. Got them all looking nice. Cup holders again, very clean. So now we're getting down, put the rear ladder back up. Um, I cleaned all up under there, coated everything underneath. As I mentioned before, the gel coat could have used a light polish. However, that wasn't in the deal. You can see some haze up here. This rear section's all black. Looks pretty good, with exception of that haze. Pretty glossy. Most people wouldn't know the difference. Either way. Uh, this side had the most haze on it, top and bottom. But in that area there, you can see all that. But that's all right, looks great. It's all nice and clean now and glossy and very protected. All right guys, this has been a, I wanna say it's brand new. I think he said it was a 2019 242X Yamaha uh, jet boat, awesome boat. All clean, protected, looking great. If you guys uh, want me to detail a boat, if you need a boat, car, motorcycle, RV, any of that stuff detailed, 813-846-4406 is my cell. 
Uh, we take pride in, in our work, and I'll tell you what, my reputation is worth more than, than any money you'll ever pay me. Um, I do quality work, and uh, I, I make sure that the price is fair. So check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And uh, like I said, if you need something detailed, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Just giving you another quick look of what's happening. The more I walk around it, the more I feel like it needs to be polished, but Again, sometimes I don't get my way. Customer, the customer gets to decide. We deal with the budget that works and still a great looking boat, without a doubt. Awesome, awesome boat. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun on it this summer. All right, thanks for watching guys. If you got any questions for me, like I said, cell phone number 813-846-4406. I'm at the Cycle Springs Boat Service Center. You can see all of their wonderful stuff they work on. Cycle Springs. If you uh, need any kind of power sport, they can hook you up. Uh, Cycle Springs Power, I think it's CycleSpringsOnline.com is their site. Um, I'm in Oldsmar at their service center now working on, like I said, that boat. If you got any questions about my products or want me to do a job, just give me a call. Thanks so much for watching and listening to me babble. Have a great day, guys.